Hi, I'm Luann Weeks, and I can't believe it's time to start thinking about the holidays again. But they do make some great reasons to make mosaics that are unlike what we do in the rest of the year. And I'm just about to do that. Today I will make a candy cane to hang on a wall and show each step of it in two episodes. In this video you'll see backer preparation, pattern making, nipping and shaping techniques, and how to create shadows. So let's get started. I selected this pre-cut shape from SKU and I installed its hanger on the back. Now it's time to seal it. And if we don't seal it, the wood's going to pull the moisture from our glue too quickly and the tessera will pop off. You make your sealer by mixing your weld bond with an equal amount of water. I use about a half an ounce of weld bond per square foot of a backer. You apply it simply by brushing it like it's paint. I use these small disposable sponge brushes. They're very handy. We give it a liberal coat. Then we're going to set it aside to dry for a few minutes or until it's not tacky. While that dries, we can start cutting and shaping our glass. We're going to be using nipping glass and nipping and shaping it fit this pattern. For the pattern, I traced my mosaic shape onto the paper. Then I found a couple of inspiration pieces on the internet and I added details to my tracing. I numbered all the sections on the pattern and I made a copy of the numbered pattern. Then I cut each of the pieces out, but I left this pattern intact. The numbers are now going to let me know where everything goes. Now take a piece of the pattern, lay it on a piece of glass, and trace around it with a marker. Now for this piece we just need nippers and we're going to cut it like so. Now be sure to number the glass according to the pattern. Now because of the curve on this piece, we're going to get our best result by using both nippers and a grinder. So first, I'm going to nip it, and then I'm going to nibble away these areas as well. You want to get rid of as much material before you go to your grinder. Save on that bit. And now I'm going to go grind it. But before we do, let me tell you that you might be able to use a glass scoring tool and running pliers to make some of these shapes. But after you spend $50 to $60 on glass cutting tools, you may still need the grinder. So why not just own nippers and a grinder if you only use tessera smaller than one and a half inches? All right, let's start grinding. All right, we got a great fit here, so I might as well glue them down. Dip them in my weld bond. And put them right on the substrate. Now before I go any further on the candy canes, I want to show you the bow. Now I want the bow to have some form, not just be a big green shape. So there's three things I want to show you. First, I'm going to trace the bow onto my substrate using carbon paper. And I've already gone ahead and cut the bow to the shape. The reason I've done that is if you take a big piece of carbon paper and you lay it across here, and then you try to find your, your edges with your pattern, you're going to be lost. So the easiest thing is to cut your carbon to the same shape as your pattern, which I've done. 
So now I'm just going to lay it up here and I'm going to trace it onto the candy cane. Just use a pen or a pencil and press hard and occasionally take a peek, make sure it's going through. Voila. Okay. Now the second thing I wanted to show you is that what I plan to do is in order to separate the bow from the candy canes, I'm going to outline it with these small little black pieces that I've already nipped using nipping glass. So I'm going to go ahead and start dipping and placing them in. And I want to add these before I start adding in my green. That gives you a border to work within. Okay, the third thing for the bow is to give it form. And this was planned when the pattern was made. To give it form, we can use both the light and the dark greens to create the shadows. So here's the easy way. I'm going to start with the shadow using dark green. And I've already started nipping and creating the dark green in triangles. So I'm just going to start laying some of them in this area. Okay, now we're going to continue to do the same thing with the light green. Well, I finished laying the nipping glass. And so far we've talked about preparing a wooden backer, making a pattern, nipping and shaping tessera, and making shadows. And in the next episode, we'll tin some grout and use two colors of grout to finish this piece. Thanks for watching.